present Tim the Tool Man Taylor. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tim the Tool Man Taylor. This is Tool Time brought to you by Benford Tools. Glad to be here with my assistant, Al the Boar Borland. We're on site here today at Wilson's house. We're going to be adding on to his shed. And uh, in fact, Wilson, why don't you come out here and say hi to everybody? Howdy ho, good neighbor. Good to see you, Wilson. We're glad working for you today. Well, we're here with uh, Al, and we're going to be uh, adding on an addition to Wilson's shed here. He travels all the time, and you know, he always brings back so many things, so we want to make sure he's got plenty of room today. Hey, Al. By yeah. the way, yeah, uh, do you think they call it a shed because it loses its winter coat? I don't think so, Sam. No. Okay, today we're going to be setting up this new shed addition. We're going to be adding about 300 more square foot to his area, give him some more room to be able to put his stuff in. But the first thing you need to make sure before you start any kind of a building project is to make sure that that foundation that you're going to build upon is solid and secure and level. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid not, Al, not today. You know, uh, we're gonna try something new today. We got this new Benford Quick Set 3000, and I'm telling you, it's solid. This thing, we don't, we don't have to go through all that today because we're gonna do it this way because it's gonna work, you watch. Uh, Tim, I'm not sure about this, buddy. I, I, that, I mean, that stuff don't set very fast. Oh, goodness, Al, let me show you. This, this is solid, look at this. See, it's solid. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsor, Ben for Tools. TM, you okay? Good evening, Butterfield family, and thank you so much for joining us and being a part of our Life Group ministry. We're very excited about this new session, and I believe these coming months are going to be very beneficial for each and every one of us. If you were in service this morning, you uh, know that we began a new series entitled Boat Builders, the story of Noah and how he prepared an ark for the saving of his family. But this morning we talked about how important it was for him to obey every instruction of the Lord and be ready for the coming flood so that his family would be saved. He had to make sure that the boat would sail and withstand the storm of judgment that God was bringing. It's very important that we know that judgment is coming to this earth. and We must be prepared, we must be ready. Reminds me of what Matthew chapter 7 says in verses 24 through 27, Jesus is talking. And he likened that story to a man who built on the rock and he had the right foundation. He said there was another man though that built on the sand and great was the fall of that house. We must make sure that our lives, our homes, our houses are ready for the storms that come. In our little skit today, I don't know why I let them talk me into certain things, but you notice when the foundation was not right that everything crumbled. So our purpose here at Butterfield, our ministry, is to prepare you to make sure that our foundation is right to withstand all the storms of life, but also to be ready that when the storm of judgment does come and the Lord returns. Remember this morning we talked about Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. We want to make sure that our houses are ready. So tonight we're going to talk about that out of Matthew chapter 7, being built on the right foundation. Once again, thank you for joining us. Hope you have a great time tonight. Enjoy the fellowship. Let's get into the Word and see what the Lord is speaking to us. God bless each and every one of you. 